Welcome to Kitchen Basics 101 where I teach you the bare bone basics as if you have never cooked a day in your life from the perspective of a mom. I know I have already made you roasted bacon before. There's a video on here of me roasting a bacon on a baking sheet. And I'm gonna do it again this morning because I do it once a week. And then I have bacon in the fridge ready to go. You want a BLT? There's bacon in there. You wanna have some bacon for breakfast? You can throw it in a pan for like less than a minute and it's crisp up and ready to go. Or you wanna have a salad and you wanna chop up some cooked bacon on the salad, then it's in the fridge. So once a week, usually on the weekend, today's Saturday, sometimes it's Sunday, I'll roast up bacon. And it's so easy, I'm gonna throw it in the oven at 400 degrees for like mm, 25, 30 minutes. Every bacon is a little different, depends on how thick it is or how hot your oven is. I also profess to you often about these two things, my giant, cookie sheet, which I do have on my Amazon, this giant cookie sheet and this giant parchment paper. And here's why. An entire pound of bacon fits on this cookie sheet, so you don't have to do two cookie sheets. And anyone who's ever cooked bacon knows it makes a huge mess. When I'm done cooking this bacon, I'm gonna show you that I literally just have to let it cool, ball up this parchment paper and throw it in the trash wash the pan, it'll come super clean. I don't have to pour the grease off. I don't have to handle hot grease. It's a breeze, okay? So a lot of people have asked me for food prep. This is a food prep thing that I do every week. I cook a pound of bacon, so it's in there. We eat it for breakfast on the weekend, which is great. But then, like I said, you wanna make a salad, you have chopped up bacon you can add. You wanna have baked potato, you have real bacon that you can add. You wanna make a sandwich and add a piece of bacon, it's ready for you in the morning. It's ready for you. Like, that I couldn't recommend this enough. <laughs> Just pulled it out, crispy deliciousness. Can you see that reflection of the burning hot grease? Yes. We're gonna let this cool and then I'm gonna show you how easy this cleanup is, cause it's crazy. Before this grease cools off, I do move the bacon to a paper towel to soak up the extra grease. You don't want it to sit here and become solid in this hot grease, okay? All right, I promised I would show you. See, all that bacon grease has now become a solid. And I can just throw this parchment paper in the trash. Bacon grease situation. No situation, didn't have to drain it, didn't have to touch hot grease. Open it right in the trash. See, voila.